Now, sometimes the chromosomes on X and can be extra or more. There's things like Kleinfelder and all these things. Uh, discuss that a little bit about the sex genes sometimes have too many things. Or so, you know, we, we actually have a group of chromosome abnormalities called the sex chromosome abnormalities. So that consists of really either an extra X chromosome, which could be in a girl, in which case it's XXX, which or in a boy, which is called trisomy X. The old way people used to call them super females, I don't think we like to use that kind of uh, terminology. The, if it's an extra X chromosome in a boy, it's XXY, which is Kleinfelter syndrome. And what, what, what do those Kleinfelters look like? At now, Kleinfelter syndrome, actually, in young children, may be completely indistinguishable. So you may never pick up a child with Kleinfelter syndrome as a young child, but they do not develop normal testes. So what happens over time is they have a lack of testosterone. They tend to be a little low tone. They tend to be a little weak. They tend to be a little klutzy. And as they reach puberty, you see a delay in the onset of puberty. They tend to be taller than average. Uh, they can have sometimes some breast Mentally, development. are they normal? Or? They, they have IQs in the normal range, but they can have learning problems. And we say generally that their IQs probably maybe 10, 20 points lower than that of their siblings. So there are some, you know, milder developmental issues. With but they can be missed sometimes. They can be completely missed, and the, they may just come to you as an infertile male who's having problems conceiving long afterwards when he's trying to have a child. 